Hello, this video is about Monaco's M-Core device. What is M-Core? M-Core is Monaco's flagship next generation platform for data acquisition for use in remote condition monitoring, industrial IoT, and analytics. M-Core is at its core an industrial protocol translator, a secure industrial data router, and an edge analytics platform. It incorporates three original design goals, industrial cybersecurity, a rugged package for harsh environments and mobile equipment, and maximum computing power, speed, and efficiency for use in edge data processing and analytics. These design goals are fundamental core values in the current and future development of M-Core that make it equally fit for an on-premises closed industrial control system network and future applications to leverage the tremendous power of industrial IoT and cloud computing. So now we'll take a look at some of the industry applications of the M-Core device. Uh, we have solutions in mining, oil and gas, marine, and electrical power gen uh, monitoring. Uh, in the mining industry, we're, we're monitoring haul trucks, dozers, loaders, excavators, water trucks, drills. Uh, in oil and gas, we're monitoring drill rigs, compression sites. Uh, in marine industry, we're man managing propulsion engines and gen sets. Uh, we're, we're in hospitals, data centers, and universities, uh, monitoring prime power and backup power solutions. Uh, we provide remote monitoring of engines, secondary CAN bus networks. Uh, we can do data integration with OSI Soft Pi, uh, other industrial IoT applications or remote monitoring solutions. And we can also integrate data into PLCs or SCADA systems, uh, or even in the marine industry into the command center on the vessel. So let's take a look at the data flow from an M-Core. Uh, let's talk about how M-Core gets data from an industrial asset and where it needs to be. Keep in mind that this same process works for any, uh, any electronically governed industrial asset, whether it's a haul truck, a compression station, a uh, marine vessel, or a gen set in a hospital. So what you have out in the field, if you will, is your asset and it has an edge network of some kind, whether that's a CAN bus or uh, maybe even has external sensors and things like that. Uh, over on the right side, we have a customer system, uh, either a SCADA system, an industrial IT platform, or maybe you're leveraging the power of OSI Soft Pi. Uh, and then on the bottom right, we've got Monaco solution, which is Monaco Live, which is a remote condition monitoring solution uh, hosted in the cloud and built on the OSI Soft Pi system. So over here on the bottom left, we have an M-Core device, which is used to collect data from your asset. So you have the M-Core is doing the data collection in the aggregation. It's doing the protocol conversion, the uh, edge analytics. It's prepping data for transmission. It's data logging, and it's also buffering data. Data buffering is imperative when remotely monitoring over pot potentially inconsistent network connections to minimize the risk of data loss for use uh, in analytics and things like that down the road. So there's three options for data haul. Uh, that we provide with our customer solutions, either utilizing an existing ethernet network where we push data directly to the customer system or use, utilizing a wireless client and Wi-Fi hotspots, uh, WAN access points and things like that to get data into the system. There's a third option, which is using a cell modem or a satellite terminal to push data either to the customer system or to Monaco Live, uh, which is hosted in the cloud. If you want to maintain control over the security of the data and things like that, you don't trust cell or satellite, we can also get data from a customer system using uh, connectors, either using MQTT or OMF to push data into Monaco Live or doing a Pi to Pi conversion out of uh, OSI Soft Pi. So let's take a look at another application here. Uh, which is specifically integrating data with OSI SoftPi, uh, how M-Core can make that easier. With an M-Core device, it's simple integration with your existing uh, data infrastructure. The Pi archive data tag assignments are taken care of for you and the creation of asset framework elements. Let's take a closer look at how data actually flows. So you've got your compression site up here on the top left. It has its edge network, it has an engine, it has a PLC uh, and things like that. 
So we're going to start here. We're going to collect data from this, and we can collect data from multiple sources using the mCore. Again, the mCore is the data collector and aggregator. It's doing the protocol conversion, the edge analytics, and the data prep. The key thing here is that mCore can pull data from multiple sources all simultaneously. We can use the RS-232 connection to pull data from external sensors, 485 to pull data from the compressor PLC, or J1939 or CAT data link to pull data from the engine network. And again, the data buffering is important here because we're sending data, then we want a whole picture of what's happening. When we use MQTT or OMF and transmit that data over an Ethernet connection using TCP IP, we can either use Wi-Fi, cellular, or satellite to transmit the data. If we're using MQTT, we're publishing to an MQTT message broker and then using an OSI soft PI connector relay, we subscribe to that broker and to get this data into the OSI soft PI system. Or we can use OMF and push that data directly to the PI connector relay. All the data transmitted is used uh, is transmitting using authentication, encryption, and compression. So now let's talk a little bit about the mCore user interface. The mCore SDR user interface provides a way for end users to interact with the device, to set up protocols, the firewall, define data tags, configure the web server, uh, to to extract data logs, or even to view live data streams. It's a very powerful suite of tools that exists on the mCore device and is accessible over an ethernet connection. There's no software that needs to be installed. It's all browser-based. So we have a couple of options for how the mCore device can be mounted. You can either use the mounting bracket, which is located on the top left, or you can use a DIN rail uh, configuration, which is located over on the right. So how do you connect the mCore? It's pretty easy with the wiring kit. Uh, you'll notice on the left here that the mCore uses AMP seal contacts. This helps us maintain the IP66 and 67 rating, and it protects from dust and water and stuff like that getting into the mCore. Uh, what you'll see here in the picture depicted in the middle are the different types of cables that are required. Monaco builds the wire harness specific to the connectivity requirements of what it's connecting to. For example, if you're connected to a Caterpillar engine, you might have a CDL cable depicted as number three there. Uh, if, if you're using just a normal CAN network and you need to connect to J1939, you'd have a J1939 cable. Or if you had uh, a PLC that you were pulling data from, you'd have a 485 cable and things like that. But as you can see, uh, the cabling is all provided uh, depending on what asset type we're connecting to and where the data exists. So that kind of sums up the wiring. If you're ready to get your so if you're ready to get your industrial assets connected, uh, please reach out to Monaco and uh, we'd love to have a conversation with you and find out how we can help you. Thanks for watching.